Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are reporting live from TV IVC. You are welcome to PM News from TV IVC. Stay tuned as we bring you detailed updates from the ongoing 413 Islamic vacation course. I am Khadija Maruf. First, the headlines. Report your allergies to Camp Clinic, director tells delegates. Kitchen official tells delegates to expect sumptuous meals as kitchen facilities improve. Israeli prolongs conflict, despite rising soldier casualties. Gas explosion destroys shops, goods in Lagos. And now, the news in full. Report your allergies to Camp Clinic, director tells delegates. To prevent cases of emergency, delegates have been enjoined to report food and drug allergies to Camp Medical Center. The medical director, Dr. Zafaron Kurot Lhain, enjoyed delegates to speak up on their triggers as she encouraged asthmatic patients to use their nose masks and holding their inhaler with them always. She advised participants on camp to protect themselves from cold and dust by using their nose masks and to be vigilant when walking to avoid cuts, injury and insect bites. She assured delegates of adequate preparation to handle emergency cases which can be prevented when delegates avoid rowdiness by maintaining their calm. Marketers raise alarm over low turnout of delegates. Marketers have expressed dissatisfaction with the low turnout from delegates, despite their effort to attract participation through adjusted pricing. Some marketers were concerned that despite a cut in price of goods, it hasn't translated into a significant improvement in delegate buying pattern. The marketer highlighted the challenges posed by the increment in prices, attributing the subdued delegate response to this financial factor. In a plea for a more positive outcome, the marketer urges delegates to engage actively, emphasizing the importance of a stronger turnout for the overall success of the event. Kitchen officials tell delegates to expect sumptuous meals as kitchen facilities improve. The head of kitchen department, Adja Wasia Alamu, has assured camp delegates to expect sumptuous meals like fried rice, moi moi, and proteins on campsites. She said the meals would be possibly due to MSSN Lagos State Area Unit improvement in the provision of consumable water, availability of kitchen equipment, slot slaughtering basements, and a cleaner cooking environment. Webmaster comments improvements in pin generation for camp reg registration. The head of web department, Sister Alima Adebake, has commended a relative improvement in generation of pin, which has reduced the number of complaints on pin registration from the area council. She, however, raised a vaughn concern about delayed response gotten from the third party who handles the pin generation. She suggested that the partner should have a representative present physically to reduce difficulties being faced from such issues. She also commended all the web team for their effort at achieving a smooth experience at the web visitor. Now, the foreign news. Israel continues hazard on Gaza despite calls for restraint. A United Nations official has been killed along with, his more, along with more than 17 members of his extended family in an Israeli strike near Gaza City, as hundreds of people have been killed in intensified bombardment since Friday's UN Security Council resolution that has been criticized as woefully insufficient. Isam al-Mugrib, 56, who worked for the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, for three decades, was killed along with his wife and children in an Israeli airstrike on Friday. Offering his condolences to Isam family and colleague, the World Health Organization chief, Tedrum Hadhom, stressed in a post on X that humanitarians should never be victims and called for a ceasefire. Since Israel's war on Gaza began on October 7, 136 staff members of the UN have been killed. And national news. Gas explosion destroys shops, goods in Lagos. In a tragic turn of events on Saturday, a market at the council bus stop in the Ikoto area of Lagos State witnessed widespread destruction as gas explosion 
ripped through several shops, leaving a trail of devastation. Margaret Adesheye, the director of Lagos State Fire and Rescue Services, revealed in a statement that the incident caused by negligence during a gas cylinder refill occurred with, without any reported casualties. Preliminary investigation pointed to negligence during a gas cylinder refill as the likely cause of explosion. Jaza Kumlu Akara for listening. Once again, I am Khadija Maruf. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Kini kiki tolo e dolo, kiki atola lo ma ba yin. O ko mi ni mo ibudin sumaya. E te ti yin bele ge, ke dba koko nu ro yin. La ti agon uma ngon wan tibi a i di si. I ro yin ipa go. Awa ele to di jem yin mo ipa go. Ke de yok po un je din jo jo, ti a te yin wa. O ga agba awa ele to di jem yin mo ipa go. A di a, wa si a la mo. Da do pi, da do pe, o po un je di jo. Bi moi moi, ati a wang polo po un je, tu yin shara lo we, ni a wang lu pa go, yi o je. O ga agba nan so pe, a wang yin to yi pa go, ti she bo do un ti o to, ati un ti o ye. Un di a wang lu pa go, ti o dun, ti o shi kan o pe lu e. A wang yi le yi ta ja, ati o ja yi e bi yi e shofo, la ta ri yi yi no ga si, ni yi lu e ko. Yi no kan ti o je yi ni yi yi kotu ni yi lu e ko. La ta yi gas, fi an wang o da yi e bi e shoko. O ga ba panan panan ti lu e ko, ma ga wè ta de shè yè. Son ni mi mò ni pe, yi nyo yi ti o jè yò. La ta li yi, a la yi ka kou an wang o lu ta gas yi, ni a de de nò. An wang panan panan a ti an wang e ka, i da bo bo mi nò, te te da si yi shè lè vru kou yi. To, bè ko ba wò kon rò sa, o di don do, ko djou ba pou e lè bou te. Oh, come in, my buddy, smile. Oh, double.